Okay guys, let's just jump straight into it. So you want to roughly draw out two squares. Trust me, these do not have to be neat, but they have to sort of be a similar size. And on one of them, you also want to draw a circle that's a little bit bigger than a milk lid. Now cut the squares in a hole out. Next, you can pretty much hack away at the polystyrene, making a rugged texture. At this point, you can also cut around the piece of polystyrene with the hole in it if you want to make a similar dish to this one. To stick the top and bottom pieces together, I went and used a silicon sealant. You can use a multi-purpose one, but since I had an aquarium safe one hanging around, that's what I used. Once you've stuck the two pieces together, leave the dish for at least a day before doing the next step. Now for the grouting stage. So the first layer, you want it to be quite thin. So I mixed grout with a lot of water and actually put a drop of acrylic paint in there just to help me see where I've already been. After you've done the first layer, wait for it to dry and then do another three or four layers of thicker grout. Remember to grout the entire thing. Now for the fun part, painting. So this is really up to you however you want to paint it. But for me, I want to go for a rocky sort of look. So I am putting down the first layer as a dark grey colour. Now I'm going to do a dry brush technique. This is really simple. Basically you get some paint on your brush, then dry it out as much as possible on a bit of a kitchen roll, and then briskly brush it across the dish. As you can see, this highlights the texture a lot and helps with the overall rocky look. Finally, sealing the entire thing. Now, originally I did use Mod Podge. I did about four or five layers of this. Unfortunately, it did have a bad reaction with some damp Eco Earth. So since then, I have used this Dead Flat Decorator's Varnish. I'm hoping it works well. It does say it's water resistant, so hopefully, but if you use like tiles, reptile carpet, newspaper, tissue for the substrate, you don't have to worry about this, you can go ahead and use Mod Podge. But since EcoF can be slightly damp when you first add it in, it will be better to try out the decorator's varnish. So here is the final piece. It's a pretty simple thing to make and not only do you save a bit of money, but you also get a custom dish that fits in with your gecko's environment. I wouldn't use this as a water dish, but I think it makes a perfect little calcium dish. I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching.